I'm on a 6,000 mile road trip exploring the Pacific coast with the goal of knocking out as many new species as possible from my kayak. And I'm catching fish like this. <laughs> yeah, I got color. Yeah! So come along as I fish both freshwater and salt and meet new kayak anglers along the way. What? This is Field Trips with Robert Field. Look at that! That was insane! All right, guys, so we just got here to Headwaters Kayak in Redding, California, meeting up with Ben Weishman, and we're about to go for rainbow trout. Now, I've actually never caught a freshwater trout in my life, and I just learned yesterday that steelhead are just rainbow trout that return to the ocean. They're the same fish. So that kind of tells you how much I know about what I'm doing here. Luckily, I hear Ben's a man, so hopefully he can get us on some fish. Let's go meet him. Some light rods. A little different than what I've been doing out here offshore. Ben. Welcome, welcome. Hey, welcome, man. Yeah. Good to see you. Yeah, you too. Absolutely. I'm excited, man. I'm excited. Check yeah. this out. This is nice, man. Yep. Full service shop, rentals, cell boats, fishing guide, anything you need. It's nice, man. I dig it. All right, guys. Time to head down the river. Let's see if we can't get some of these rainbow trout in the boat. It's definitely going to be out of my comfort zone. I don't do much fishing with this slide of tackle. It's going to be kind of an adjustment. like the area the males will just start thrashing around and digging out all the big rocks and making like a little a little nest there you know the males will fight over a female and they'll fight for days until one of them finally gives up and that female will spawn and they'll deposit their load and fertilize them and then cover back up so that whole process just really stirs up the water Not bad. Action hat, man. Yeah, I've seen him forever. I've been like, that's a brilliant idea. All right, guys, so we're on the Sacramento River. We just launched, uh, kind of taking a break right here, right up to this bridge so that we can kind of rig up. Ben's going to kind of tell us the game plan for today. And just coming down here in, what, 200-yard stretch, already saw a salmon. Uh, this time of year, the salmon are up here spawning. It's been kind of a rough year for them, but they're actually off limits, so we can't fish for them. So we'll be focusing strictly on rainbow trout. All right, Ben, so what's our kind of game plan for today? Okay, what we're doing, we're fishing for rainbow trout. These fish are in here all year long, nice, cold, clean water. Okay. And we're going to offer them up what I call meat and potatoes. Nice. So Who doesn't love meat and potatoes? Who loves meat and potatoes? So this is our potato, and this is a glow bug. And so the glow bug represents the salmon egg that's floating around out there. Okay. Barbless hooks out here. This is all catch and release fishery. And so we're also going to throw them a little meat today. As you see from the weather, it's cold, rainy, windy. Uh, you got a lot of stuff uh, that's uh, floating down the river right now. So we're going to give them something a little bigger, something they can smell. So we're just going to go with a good old night crawler. So it's kind of like a little tandem rig, basically. Yeah, we got bait on the bottom, rig. night crawler, and then we got the salmon egg imitation up top. Exactly. I do exactly. the same thing like with my drop shots. Instead yeah. of a weight at the bottom, I'll put a jig. Yep. So I got kind of doubling up. Yep. You know, this river's flowing about 7,000 cubic feet per second. It's pretty quick. Uh, so we need quite a bit of weight on there to get this offering down on the bottom. So what we use for that are uh, slinkies. And slinkies, slinkies are uh, basically, it's like parachute cord. Uh, you can buy them either pre-packaged, uh, but I tie my, up my own. And it's parachute cord, you hollow it out, and you fill that with lead shot. Hmm. So throw your split shots in there, heat it up, crimp the ends, attach that to a swivel, and that then attaches to another swivel, slides on the line. Gotcha, so, way, so when they pull, they don't feel the resistance when they pull, of the they weight. they don't feel the resistance. Yep, Makes sense. absolutely. So that'll be our technique. Um, awesome. With these mirage drives in the river, we're able to get back upstream yeah. and uh, work some of this productive water. This is a great stretch right here. We just saw a fish landed. Yeah. Um, so we're basically just gonna be going kind of against the river, cast out, and just kind of drifting down. Exactly. Just kind of working our way down. Exactly. All right, brother. Okay. Let's, let's get out there and do it, man. Absolutely. Let's see if we can figure this out. Yep. Seems like a decent one. Yeah, buddy. 
Feels like a nice fish. Staying down. So funny, it looks like a monster, but like I already know. <laughs> you know, when you use ultralight rods, everything looks big. See if I can come over here into this lack of water. You got eyes on it yet? Yeah, it looks, looks like the right kind. Oh, yeah, nice. buddy. Nice. Yeah. That might be a personal best, actually. What? I'm not kidding. He says he might have his personal best. Beautiful fish, man. Yeah, how's that? Gorgeous. Oh, wow. So you say that might be your personal best? Uh, you know what? It's up there? We're over 20, so maybe not personal best, but that's a nice fish. Heck of a fish, man. Just beautiful pattern on it. Beautiful colors. Wow. Yep. We gotta let her go. Yep. No, that didn't take long at all, man. Okay. Off we go. Nice, yeah. dude. That nice. That did not take long at Just all. Right there, man. <laughs> We've been out here, what, five minutes? Less? Wow, man. That's a good omen for today. That was it. That was right. Let's get back up there and do it. Yeah, let's do it again, man. My turn. Yep, your turn. That's right. <laughs> All right, so we've got strong current. We're bouncing a heavy weight along a rocky bottom, which means that it's constantly feeling like I'm getting bit. And every single drift, I'm getting snagged at least once. And I'm using four pound test line, which is the lightest I've ever used in my life and is causing everything to wrap around itself and tangle up non-stop. And now I broke off. This is not easy. Ben hooked up again. Ooh. Whoa. Nice, peel and drag. <laughs> nice fish. Dude. Gone. Came off? Nope, nope, he's still there, he's still there. Woo! Got down river on you. Woo! Not done yet. Man, oh man. Come on, buddy. Strong fish, man. His head turned. Oh! <laughs> There we go. Nice. Woo! Oh, beautiful fish, man. Nice. Gorgeous, dude. Good. Absolute football. Yeah, buddy. It's two nice ones. It's my turn. I gotta get one. Yeah, you do. There he goes. Nice. nice, dude. Yeah, buddy. Two, bro. Heck yeah. Two good ones, too. definitely harder than it looks it's kind of finesse fishing to the extreme compared to what I'm used to we made about five maybe six drifts in this little stretch right here uh, Ben's got two good fish on the board already uh, I'm pretty sure I've missed a few fish you know we're bumping this weight along the bottom and a lot of times it kind of feels like a tap 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 but uh, there were a few that I'm pretty sure was a fish and I just wasn't quick enough so a little bit of a learning curve but we'll figure them out Hopefully this rain stays away. We've been getting sprinkled on a little bit. It's not warm rain. The water is not warm. That could have been way worse though. I could have gone swimming just then. 
That was, that was close. Whew. And that's how not to run rapids here in Northern California. There was one spot I needed to avoid and I nailed it sideways. Like that could have been, could have been bad. I'm awake now. Whew. Soaking wet. Dodged a bullet on that one. That water is powerful, much more powerful than it looks. <sighs> Ben's got his third one. I need to figure out what I'm doing wrong. Yeah, I think I found what it actually was at. Always makes it a harder fight. Yeah, yeah, he's got the glow bug right on the back there. <laughs> <laughs> Said no, sir. Nice. Yeah. Man, he's fat. <gasps> Gotta hold him up. No, man, I want to catch one. I know, huh? <laughs> Hold your own damn fish. <laughs> Man. He said rainbow trout. I was thinking about fish like this big. These aren't those kind of rainbow trout. These are those kind of rainbow trout, man. <laughs> beautiful. Nice, big, fat, healthy. Beautiful fish. Yep. Oh. Woo. <laughs> Just puked up a bunch of bugs there. Did you go like it? Yeah, she's swam good. on. Okay. Yeah, she's good. All right, man. Nice, dude. Hey, Wearing yes. them out, bro. Well, we're running out of time in this drift. Ben's got three nice fish. I still have not managed to get one in the boat. Uh, this is some of the most challenging fishing I've ever done. Definitely the most challenging fishing I've done since I've been here in California. It's just super finesse while at the same time getting blown down river by the current. We got the wind ripping 30 miles an hour every once in a while. It has been a challenge, but uh, we got about 30 minutes left. So hopefully I can pull off a miracle, get one of these fish in the boat. We'll see. Should I get in the yak and go get it or? Ben's hooked up again. The man showing us how it's done. <laughs> I think it was that big, but it's a little better than I thought. Nice. There we go. Number four. <laughs> there we go. My Three Sons Guide Service. That's it. This is how he does it. Not bad. Hit him up and he will put you on some fish. Let's do it. Beautiful fish, man. Yeah, the coloration's on these guys. Okay, let's get him in the water. He's ready to go. So we're gonna switch up baits a little bit. Uh, this is actually salmon roe. So these are salmon eggs. And basically the salmon come up here and spawn, lay millions of eggs. And these rainbow trout take advantage of that and they'll eat these roes. So see if maybe uh, this will be a little more productive than what we've been throwing. We'll see. There we go. Fish on. Yeah, finally got a fish on. It's been a long day trying. I don't have my net. <laughs> oh, nice. Too good to me, man. Oh, yeah. Beautiful fish. It's tough in this current with this light line to get them up. But Ben's the man out here, and it took him a little while, so I don't feel too bad. <laughs> nice fish. Yeah, man. Feels good. Staying on the bottom, kind of like yours did. The drag feels really loose. Is that intentional? Yeah, tighten that up if you need to. See if I can't pedal her over into some calmer water over here on the side. Try to land her. Oh yeah, there she is. Got color? Beautiful. Yeah, and there, back down she goes. My instinct wants me to tighten down the drag and just horse her in, but I know that is not the right move. Not with this line. Yeah, you got to take your time. Looks like she's coming up. Oh, oh, maybe, yeah, no, no, <laughs> no, oh, not ready yet. And that's after I tightened it down too. These things put up a fight, man. I mean, they got to live in this fast current, makes sense, you know, kind of live their life on a treadmill. Oh yeah, nice, <laughs> <laughs> finally, oh man, feels good 
finally get my hands on one of these. Woo! There you go. Finally! My biggest challenge so far here in California was the smallest fish that I've targeted yet. <laughs> oh, they're just smart. It's hard to feel the bites. Mix in this current and these strong wind gusts. And it is a challenge using this light line to catch these fish. But man, it is rewarding when you get one in. What a challenging but fun fish to go after. Uh, just absolutely a finesse style of fishing. I've got a newfound respect for these light line junkies and fly fishermen. Uh, that is not easy. Persistence paid off. It was definitely a grind for me. I finally got what I was coming for. Another species checked off the list here on the west coast. Let's get this girl back in the water. Ben, dude, thank you, brother. Nice, bro. Thanks like for fish. sticking it out with me. I Absolutely. appreciate it. It's been a grind, but if we can't find them, we'll grind them. Yep, that's it. In the end, we got it done. Let's let, <laughs> nice. this, let this girl go. And there she goes. Good to go. Swam off fine, yeah. Woo! Oh man, I came here thinking this was gonna be one of the easier stops after all the big fish I've been targeting. Everything else has gone smoothly and uh, Kind of got dealt my first taste of humility here in Redding, but uh, in the end of the day, we got it done thanks to Ben. Man, feels good to knock that species off the list. I was feeling pretty defeated earlier. I think we're gonna call it a day. We got storms coming in. Uh, this was pretty much the last 30 minutes that we had to give this a shot, and we made it happen. Time to get back, get everything loaded up, and then I'll be hitting the road to head up to the Redwood National Forest. Check it out in the next episode. Yeah, thank you, dude. Totally, that was fun. That was awesome, man. Yeah. I definitely learned that I have a lot to learn still <laughs> about finesse fishing. Well, that's what's cool about what you're doing, man. Yeah. You're getting a piece of everything that's out there. Yeah. So. This was definitely way different than the other stops I've been on, so. Yeah. Oh, that was fun, though, man. Yeah. Those fish. Yep. On the next episode of Field Trips, it's time to say goodbye to California and make my way north into Oregon. Maybe one of the most beautiful and scenic rivers I've ever been on. Where I'll be heading out into the Columbia River in search of my first Chinook salmon. All right, so we're all rigged up. We're gonna give this a shot, see if we can't figure these fish out. While the salmon elude me, I bite off more than I can chew when I hook the biggest fish of my entire life on light salmon gear. Whoa! Watch as I do battle with the largest freshwater fish on the continent. Uh, I think I'm in for a ride. 